Yeah, life's going to be a lot easier if you can do matrix calculations on your calculator. The button you're really interested in is this one right here. Click that. All of these options. Uh, you can create a 2x2 two two matrix really quickly by pressing this button, but if you want to create a matrix of any size, it's this one that looks like a 3x3. Three three. Click it. Choose your rows, choose your columns. Now, I want a 3x3, three three, so I'm going to click that. 1, 2, 3. Whoops. And just arrowing around uh, 7, 8, 9. I want to add that to matrix B. So same process again, plus create another matrix, another 3x3 three three matrix, uh, and then put in all of your numbers. And equals and we're done. Oops. No equal sign, just enter. Okay, and we get an answer right there. So you can continue doing that, typing in your matrices every time. But given I'm going to do a bunch of calculations with the same matrices over and over again, it would be a good idea to store those matrices. So the way to do that, put in your matrix again. Uh, I'll do A here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then control, store the matrix. Store it as a variable. I'll call it matrix A because it is matrix A. There. And now if I want to use that matrix again in a calculation, I just type the letter A and it creates that matrix. Uh, if I want to do question three here, which says two times matrix A, I can really just write two times matrix A. And you can see that is in fact two times matrix A. I'm going to very quickly store matrix B and store matrix C so I can get going here. And I'm going to store matrix C here so you can see this time it's different. It's three rows but only one column. So you just fill it in and it lets you do it. Uh, that one's going to be 14, 32, 50. And I'm going to store it as C. Okay, great. And so now it's really straightforward that I've stored those matrices. Because now if I want to do, say, question four here, which is matrix A times matrix C, I just write A, A, times C and I get A times C. If I want 2A plus 3B it's going to be really straight for 2A times 3B and I get that. That would take you quite a while if you're doing it by hand. If we want to cube a matrix, raise it to a power, it really is as simple as A to the power of something. There we have our answer there. Now determinant, a little more difficult but only barely menu, um, matrix, determinant, and then you put your matrix in there. Now, if you hadn't stored these matrices, you could just um, put in the matrix into that determinant. One, two, three. I'm showing you how to do this, so because you don't always store your matrices if you're only going to use one once. And so there's the determinant of matrix A. Or instead, we can do menu, matrix, determinant, matrix A, close the bracket. And you can see the determinant of that matrix is zero. A determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, really, really hard, very handy to do it on your calculator. Uh, if we want the inverse of matrix A, we just do A, sorry, we just do A to the power of negative 1. And we find out that we can't do it because it's a singular matrix. But we can find the inverse of B. I've added a question in here. I've found the inverse of B. Just B to the power of negative 1 and we'll get an answer. So the last question I've changed to solve BX equals C for X because AX equals C wasn't going to work. All right, so how are we going to do that? Well, we need to know a little bit of um, maths. We're going to have to do a little bit of something. If we rearrange this to make x the subject, we're going to get x equals inverse b times c. And now we just need to do that, do that inverse b minus, inverse b times c on our calculator. So b 
inverse, so b to the power of negative 1, times vector c. And we have an answer, therefore, x equals that matrix, 0, negative 8, 14. This last thing, really, really, really useful. Because being able to solve um, equations like that allows you to solve simultaneous equations. Not just simultaneous equations with two variables, but you can make your matrix as large as you want and solve with three variables, four variables, five variables. It doesn't matter what. All right, so having a calculator is going to make this really easy, but you need to know how to do it.